Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. We are back for 85 Beauty Talks. I'm really glad that we get to be back together on Mondays to talk about how to make makeup easy and accessible. I have been a little MIA doing 85 Beauty Talks videos the past month, but we are back in action. And today, specifically, we are talking about two particular concepts. One, having a go-to product. And two, understanding good, better, and best makeup. So we're going to get right into it. If you are new here, hello, I'm Keila Fowler, founder and CEO of 85 Beauty. 85 Beauty is a makeup education company, and it is all about making makeup easy and accessible and giving you practical tools that you can use to make yourself feel and look beautiful every single time you sit down to do your makeup. So what we are going to be tackling today is understanding the benefit of having a go-to product. When I say go-to product, what I mean is this. You should be able to identify what product it is for you that is going to give you the maximum impact with the minimal amount of time and effort. So when you start to think through, okay, what, what could that be? I don't want you to actually think of product first. I want you to think of a concept I call the five. The five is your way of understanding that you are only ever really looking at or considering five features instead of thinking about product product makes you think of the aisles of Sephora and how overwhelming they are. When you think of the five, you think skin, lips, eyes, eyebrows, cheeks. Five feels really doable. So you, you're you going to first focus on like, okay, pick your feature. What is it going to be? For me personally, it's lips. I like my lips and I love lipstick. So that's how I got my go-to product. It is the thing that I can swipe on really fast and boom, I instantly feel more put together. I instantly feel more beautiful. I instantly feel like, okay, I can conquer what's coming my way if I put on a little red lipstick or a pink lipstick or a, right, like the sky's the limit in terms of which colors I wanna go to, but the product, is lipstick. So first I started with the five. I chose one feature. My feature was lips. And then from there, I identified which product it was going to be. It could have been lip gloss. It could have been lip liner. And oh, you know, I love a lip liner. Woo! Lip liner is beautiful. But for me, it's lipstick. Lipstick is the one that I'm like, boom, shoo, shoo, done. Once you have your go-to product, then you'll be able to understand the next concept we're talking about today, which is good, better, best makeup. Now, this is a concept that is not unfamiliar. We've all heard about like good, better, and best when it comes to like goal setting, right? This is really helpful though when you approach makeup the same way because you don't always have the same amount of time available to do your makeup. Some days you have, you're just crunched for time. There's more going on. Maybe you miss an alarm. You hit snooze too many times. Maybe you just happen to have to run out quickly for something, whatever it may be. You don't always have the same time and accessibility to do your makeup. So what I want you to think about is that there is good makeup, which to me is like, your go-to product makeup. That is the swipe of lipstick. It is the like quick coat of mascara. It is a little bit of filling in the brows. That's good, right? Like it'll work. It's something versus nothing. Because here's what happens. People often, instead of realizing that you can do a little something, it becomes an all or nothing. And that's just so high stakes. So what I'm saying is instead, choose a good makeup, which is like your go-to product. Swipe something on, boom, done. Better is when you probably have like your solid 10 minutes or whatever your solid makeup routine time is, that's better, right? That's your like, okay, 
I can go at a steady pace. I don't have to rush, but I'm also not like, I've got all the time in the world, right? That is your better makeup. That's when you're like, okay, I can handle my routine, start to finish, I'm good. Technically, you're better. And then we have best. And y'all, you know best. You absolutely know what your best makeup time is. That is that is when you're like going for it, right? You are pulling out all the steps. You're going to take a little bit more time to do that liquid eyeliner because you, you've got time. You set aside some time to make it happen. Or you're like, I mean, I normally don't wear blush, but I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna add a little blush into this mix today. Whatever it is that allows you to like go, go for it with your makeup. You have time, you're going to use all of the tips that work for you, and you are going to be like fabulous at the end. That's your better. No, your best. Sorry, that's your best makeup. So you have good, better, and best. And when you realize that, you suddenly stop saying no to yourself when you can otherwise say yes. Because what can sometimes happen is, again, when you think of the, when you think of the idea of like all or nothing when it comes to makeup, that's really kind of frustrating and sad. I've had those moments where I was like, I, I don't I don't have time. I just I just have to go. And I wear nothing, but I like how I feel in my makeup. And when I rush out of the house and I don't have anything on my face and I wanted to, that feels like a loss. Like that feels in terms of like a win winning or losing, that feels like losing, and that's the start of the day. That's a terrible way to start. If I instead use my go-to product and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go for good. Going for good, that's all I can do but I'm gonna have a little something. It's, it just, it's still a win, you know? Like you still get to start that day feeling like you gave yourself a few seconds and every time, I'd say this, y'all, if you don't look in the mirror more often, you need to. And especially with all of us being on Zoom right now, like you're always seeing yourself on camera. So every time you see a glimpse of yourself, I want you to feel really, really good about it right? Like it, it kind of like pumps you back up that you're like, yeah, I, I look, I look pretty cute. I look pretty good today. So good, better, best makeup. And your go-to product is what you're always going to use to get that good right away. These are the concepts that I talk and teach you more in depth in my makeup coaching program. Doors opened on Friday, so you can go secure your spot right now. The specific thing about the makeup coaching program that makes it so great is that, I mean, I could talk to you all day long about it. There's so many things, but here's what you need to know most. So many of us start learning makeup when we're young, right? Like young, maybe teens, maybe early 20s, right? You cobble together some makeup techniques and you just kind of smack them on your face, but then you do what you've always done. Like when's the last time you changed up your makeup routine? If you really stop and think about it, you might think, Oh, it's been like oh, maybe like five, 10, 15 year, years, years, years. But are those still the same techniques you were using when you first started? And the same products that you were using when you first started, are they still serving you? Are they still working for your needs now? Are they still meeting the mark and giving you the results that you need? I keep hearing from you that the answer is no. Your makeup isn't giving you the results that you need. It isn't performing the way that you want it to. And so I said, let's fix that. And instead, I'm gonna help you figure out three makeup outfits. Like, you know how you go in your closet and you pull, y'all, this is my go-to. This jean jacket, I love it. Every time I put it on, I know I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna feel good, I'm gonna look good. It doesn't matter how I pair it with other things. It is a go two. I want you to have that with your makeup. I want you to have go-to looks because you don't always want to look the same because you don't always feel the same. And I want you to actually do your makeup based on how you want to feel. And so that can be a tall order if you don't know how to craft a makeup look. But guess who does? I do. So I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to teach you all of the things you need to know about how it works, 
which elements you need. And this is a small group coaching program. So you're going to get to learn from the other people who are also getting unique to them looks. So you get to share things that you're working on. You get to talk about, okay, well, I have this question about concealer. And then suddenly you realize, I have that question too, but like, I didn't think to ask it, but now that they asked it, I can get my answer and maybe I need concealer now that we're talking about it. Cause what you're, ex what you're explaining sounds like what I, what I have going on in the morning when I'm trying to maybe cover dark circles. It is so much fun. The makeup coaching program is available right now. You go to 85beauty.com slash I'm going to put that in the comments for you so that you can easily get to the website. And I really hope that you join. The doors are closing at the end of the week. I don't want you to miss out. I really don't. And I'm here to answer your questions. So if you have questions, if you are hearing this right now, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay and you're realizing, um, okay, but like, tell me more. Like, how does this work? Or like, okay, but like, what about this scenario? Because I have a really specific situation going on. A question was asked today about what if I don't really wear makeup every day? That's perfect. Because it's not about me making you into a like wear makeup every single day goddess. Though if you're into that, I can help you. It's more so about every time you put your hand into your makeup bag, every time you go to grab that makeup, I want you to feel confident it's going to work out for you every single time. That should be your experience. And if it's not, I want to help get you there. So I hope to see you in Makeup Tune Up. And of course, email me hello at 85beauty.com. Comment below. I read everything and I will be here to help you out. Can't wait to see you. And as always, stay fabulous. I'll talk to you all next week. Actually, But for those who are maybe watching on the replay or like another time, like I'll talk to you next week. All right, y'all. Bye.